I know, I know which way we're going. Let's go. I'm sure you do. Let's go. Are we, are we lost? No, we're not lost. I know where we're going. Oh, we're lost. It's this way to HHN. I can't see a damn thing. Hey. Yeah. Where's the map? What map? I gave you the map. Where's the map? The Halloween Horror Night speculation map? No. It's yeah. gone. No, what do you mean it's gone? I tossed it. Everything doesn't mean you can toss the map, Mike. Well, it's gone, okay? We're lost. No, you're freaking me out. Mike. Yeah, I don't hear anything. You don't hear that? No. At all? Wait. Shh, what was that? Okay. Wait, there's something, okay, there's, okay, there's something okay, behind okay, okay, us. Stop, 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 stop. No, no, no. I thought this was gonna be a good idea. I thought this was gonna be a good idea. We were just gonna do a little video in the middle of the woods. I'd no, stop. I'm not down. No, we gotta go. Okay, I'm okay. not down. Stop, stop. No, we're stop, leaving. Stop. We're not oh, oh my god. What was that? Oh my god. I'm so scared right now. Halloween Horror Nights is two weeks away, and we haven't made a video about it this year. Welcome to Fracture Compass. Let's get started. Welcome to Fracture Compass, and today we're going to be talking about Halloween Horror Nights. Um, it's only two weeks away. I can't believe we actually haven't made a video about this at all this year. We haven't. We made some speculation videos, and we did some some con construction, and then. We did some other things yeah. that were that we thought were important and talked about knots, and so we're coming back because two weeks away, and you know, over in Orlando, starting September second, jeez, next week, like, yeah, like six days. And isn't six it crazy days days that it like off. I had to count on my fingers, by the way. <laughs> that's insane. It is six days, huh? Yeah. Um, but isn't it crazy that like now Halloween events start the beginning of September, and eventually I have a feeling because the Halloween business. Halloween Horror Nights is so lucrative, not so lucrative. Mm -hmm. Are they gonna start pushing these events into August? I don't know. So the only one that I can say that I've watched other YouTubers go is that Disney over in Orlando have started the Not So Scary Halloween parties. Like early August. Early, like they, yeah, they were, I think the first one was like the six or whatever, but I watched, you know, Ordinary Adventures and, and obviously the trackers and everybody were there. Um, and I was all like, good God, like, yeah. it is like already started over there for them. And it, it pretty much has already started over here for us, like with prep work right. and like, and like doing the final, the final touches on everything. But we're here. And Halloween Horror Nights, I think in Hollywood, I don't think I've, it's ever opened this early. Like September 8th is an early start date. Maybe last year. It's always it's always the week after I think Orlando starts. Yeah. But what's really what's really funny, I, I think you're right because like Knotts doesn't open until September twenty second. So HHN is usually like that week and then Knotts is the next week and then everybody starts to fall in line. But this week is this time is a little weird because HHN is opening September eighth and then there's a week. Yeah of, you know, just HHN, like two weeks of HHN, and then everybody starts to open up. Yes. Um, but I guess let's just, let's just dive right into it, and that's, I want to pick your brain a little bit about Do what it. I'm excited. Halloween Horror Nights has to offer. I am excited. We're getting eight mazes. Oh, wait a minute. What did I just say? Old habits die hard. Mm -hmm. Eight haunted houses. houses. And out of the eight, five of them, we're going to count them as we're gonna count legends, I think, as an original maze. Yeah, we were talking about it as we were being chased in the woods last night, mm -hmm. how we're like, okay, they're not, they are IP characters, but it is an original story that they came up with. Yeah. So, yeah, you are absolutely correct. So five original mazes this year, three IP, ma 
I'm doing it again. Okay, three or five, five original houses. Houses. And three IP, IP houses. houses. Um, which is blowing my mind because usually we're following the speculation maps that the that diehards Wrong. put out and it was just not correct which is totally fine that's what they are they're speculation maps they're they're not meant to be correct yeah you know, like at all but well, one had evil dead one had candy man yeah. i was like Okay. Uh, the one I think that everybody was just across the board was going to be La Llorona when we started seeing the build. Right. So that was absolutely correct. And granted, that that house has mm -hmm. been there um, back in like 2012, I think 2013 as well, mm -hmm. maybe. Um, but it's good to see that maze kind of get resurrected 10 years later. And it's still an original ma er, house. Yeah. I keep saying maze and it's I okay. need to stop. It's okay. But um, the world forgives you. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but let's talk about the houses first. We'll talk about the scare zones, the show offerings, and then, the, you know, we'll, we'll kind of yeah. wrap up the video. But first, the three IP houses. Mm -hmm. We've got Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Boom. We've got Halloween. Mm -hmm. And we've got um, the Black Phone and Friday, the Blum House. Yes. Now, out of those three, Brie, mm -hmm. what would you say you are the most excited for and the least excited for? Okay, so I'm gonna be like least excited for is the Blumhouse uh, maze. I I've watched some of the movies that have gone. I know some people are like she doesn't watch horror. I do. I just don't explicitly watch it all the time, and 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 it's not my go-to. Um, but I have watched some. Um, for, Mike, from what you said, Black Phone was really good. Really I well enjoyed done. it. Um, and I got the synopsis from you, so I know exactly what's going on in there. And then Friday is obviously just a twist on Freaky Friday. But I'm like, I'm still the last Blumhouse uh, house, the last Blumhouse house that I went through, uh, I was not blown away by at all. And I was a little confused on how they did the storyline for, for the maze walkthrough. And we've always talked about how I should be able to walk into your house and kind of follow a story even if I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Um, it's not, and that goes especially for original mazes. I mean, you, you have to tell a line because it's your story. Right. Um, so, not excited for, for Blumhouse, but we'll see, we'll see, because I, Ethan Hawke was a spooky, spooky man. He's been yeah. in a lot of, of Blumhouse stuff and that I was surprised because I read up on. And then I think the most, the one that I'm most excited for would be I'm so sorry, but I really I'm I'm kind of like really like campy like killer clowns like I really do so <laughs> I get it I'm excited for that one so Halloween is just gonna fall into the middle of that yeah. um, which <laughs> came out of nowhere I didn't think it was gonna be Halloween well back but and you know what's interesting about that is they've been following the trend where they did the Halloween like the first Halloween house mm -hmm. they did Halloween too skip season of the witch which i thought was a travesty because that could have been a fun house mm -hmm. they did four so i was expecting them to just keep going up the ladder and do halloween five or i thought they were going to do the new trilogy because universal owns that one and i thought well why not it's great marketing not the case mm -hmm. they are doing the 1978 one um and i think i'm most excited for that it's already been out i've already walked through that but there's just something about Halloween that I, it makes me feel so festive and hearing the, the sounds, like the theme song, seeing Mikey, who's my favorite. So I'm just completely 100% biased when it comes to that because I just love Michael. I know, look, I know, I know. Look, okay, Mikey <laughs> and on my at, phone. At least we get to see uh, Laurie Strode on this one, yeah. so. Yeah, the good old um, Jamie Lee, our final girl. Did you see, did you guys see out there the uh, like, kind of goodbye message that it was sad. That she put out I did I was like oh no you could tell that message well, like, was like this is my final time yeah it's her final time and she's like thank you for lo like loving me and being your final girl and everything and I was just like oh my gosh I was like wow I have not like I don't even like have any investment in these movies other than you know I love but I love uh, Jamie Lee Curtis great actress yeah so like it was kind of one of those things of, of just saying goodbye and knowing that this is ba this is basically the final movie. Yeah, because if they make any more movies of 
Jamie and uh, Michael going at each other, they're gonna be in stroller, like they're gonna be in walkers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, hey <laughs> guys, she's like, hey! <laughs> Slap with the cane. Yeah. Slap with the cane. <laughs> no, um, so yeah, those three IPs, very uh, interesting. I am most excited though about mm -hmm. these original houses that are coming out. And we have seen the, I, I wanna say the most original houses that Universal Hollywood has had to offer. Mm -hmm. And I wanna say that uh, Orlando had a big influence on that. When we went to Midsummer Scream and we were watching John Murdy at his panel, he was talking about how there was a big relationship from East Coast to West Coast for Horror Nights. Now there is. <clears throat> yes. And we're really seeing that this year. Yes. Um, because Scarecrows, the Reaping, is going to be a house here. That was a house at Horror Nights a few years back, and I actually went through that. Um, terrifying. Was it? Terrifying. And I remember thinking, like, this. that was actually the first house we went through. Mm -hmm. um, the first house that you go through is always the scariest. Because... It's like starting off the night, right? You That is when you're not expecting the scares. And then throughout the night, you know, you just kind of get jaded to it. You're, you're literally, <clears throat> we are literally, like HHN is is basically ripping off the band-aid of getting the, the, the jump scare again. Yeah. Because like, you know, you don't get jump scared throughout the year. <laughs> You no, try, by like, like mid-October, <laughs> we are so stoic going through stuff or like we, we aren't scared. Gotcha. But Scarecrows was a disgusting house was i was it? yeah um and very dark i remember being scared because i did not know the path forward okay if there wasn't someone ahead of me mm -hmm. i would have been like and like not dark like dark walls like the sets were very detailed yeah um but the lighting was intentional so i'm wondering if it's that uh this one's gonna follow suit no i i think it absolutely should and i'm, I'm getting excited now because of all these original mazes but there should be absolutely no reason for black wall because it's not like you're going from scene to scene to scene. Even though you you are, you should just be following through a yeah a story, a farmhouse, a, a you know, a corn field, whatever you know. Yeah. And they have so many different scarecrow characters um, that I saw from your video. So. And the uh, the king crow. <clears throat> yeah. King scarecrow at the end looks awesome. Um, and yeah, and if you want to see any of this footage, we'll, we'll, are you putting them up, by the way? Yeah, I'll put them up. Video? Put oh, okay, up sorry. Yeah. Um, the King Crow character at the end, that character design is excellent. They're freaky, and like, Jax doesn't even like Scarecrows. So no, it's she like, hates them. She hates them, so I'm just, I'm like, not looking forward to seeing her go through, because she won't, I don't think she'll react too much, but there's going to be some that I think are going to get all of us. Yes. Let's talk about another haunted house that John Murdy touched upon, and that is Universal Horror Hotel. Oh um, God, this thing came out of nowhere. This came out of nowhere, and he really didn't flat out say that this was a house. We were all speculating, is this going to be a scare zone? Is this going to be a house? Mm -hmm. But basically, it's, uh, to sum it up, H.H. Uh, Holmes-inspired character that just goes a little cuckoo and decides to oh, use yeah. his hotel for murderous purposes. Mm -hmm. um, this has the potential to be a beautiful house beautiful it's set back in the day i believe it's the 20s or the 30s um art deco vibe that is going to be i think gorgeous what do you think i think i think it'll be absolutely fantastic if you guys are familiar with hh H. holmes um and what he did and i ha it almost has oh like american was, horror story hotel yeah it almost has american horror story hotel vibes so you're gonna get that that nice 1920s 1930s feel you it's it's so much potential to have things pop out of everywhere yes so i i love that time era and and i don't know this is so weird for me to say but the murder that was committed was brutal brutal but like but like inventive very inventive you know what i'm saying yes like like you put some thought into that like you didn't just like hack somebody down in the middle of the street like there was there was a plan 
Mm -hmm. There was thought you are definitely being committed for like first degree murder. Okay, because you premeditated. But like, yeah. But I'm I'm excited, but I'm all like, ooh, what's it gonna look like? What's it gonna look like? And that's what I think is most exciting about this is that we have no basis. Nothing. Nothing. This is what's so exciting about this year. Nothing. Five Nothing. of these mazes, you are not going in going like I'm going through the Exorcist. I'm going through, you know, uh, like Amityville Horror. I'm going. I'm going through some IP where I've already seen the movie and I already kind of know what's going to be happening. You're walking in blind. That is an excellent point, and I kind of want to segue into the Weekend After Hours Nightmare because again, we know who the Weekend singer is. Mm -hmm. We have no idea what this house really is going to be about. We've seen some no. trailers. We've seen some of the masks, but that's what's exciting is I think whenever they do a uh, a house based off of a singer. It always ends up being very beautiful and just demented and there's nothing holding the creators back. Like they don't have to follow a specific scene. They don't have to follow something from a movie. Like they can just, it's untamed. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about The Weeknd? So I'm not too familiar with his music um, only because I like, at my. it's not like it's not my jam. I just literally have not like picked it up. Um, but I'm probably going to be listening to some and I'm interested in like what songs that they're going to choose but I know that he kind of dives into a darker realm of some of his music and it maybe it might be, be remixed too. yeah like it, it could be it could be dark it could be spooky um, but I'm here for it I'm a here for it interesting choice that the weekend wanted to do a haunted house do we know what song no. It wasn't ever said, was it? It may have been said, however, I did not do enough research on it. For this year, specifically, I have been very, like, I don't want to know anything, because I, I want to go in completely blind, no idea. Yeah. Um, if you guys know, like, let us know down in the comments below, like, what song they might uh, be using from the weekend, or if it's going to be remixed, because I've been following John Murdy's tweets, and I'm not, I, I had not seen anything on it. Hmm. Uh, that he said so I think they're keeping that hush hush and I think any song can be open to anybody's interpretation it's like a poem you know what I'm thinking about too filming the weekend house it's gonna be very hard for copyright oh well yeah for sure unless um, there's a lot of sound effects yeah unless it's like completely remixed to, to what Universal did um, definitely so you might we might put some other kind of music in <laughs> You're not getting the weekend yeah. music during the weekend walkthrough. Right. <laughs> um, and then uh, two more houses is Legends Collide. So excited. That we are so considering excited. an original house because it has an original storyline. Um, I'm excited. We got a little more info on that and it's going to be taking place in London. It is. At the docks. At the docks. And I am, I'm completely excited for the fact that the werewolf is more of an Anubis character. It's yes. Anubis, it's it's a were Anubis jackal. Like, and I'm like, oh, so it's not like Wolfman. It's Anubis because we are going through an Egyptian storyline. Yes. And, and something- they're all trying to get rid of their curses. Yes, that was, no, no, that's what I was gonna say is, yeah. I got excited when John Murdy was like, kind of connecting all three of those monsters and they all have curses. They do. And they're trying to get rid of their curses. And that to me was like, all right, I'm on board. I'm on board. It didn't just feel like they threw three monsters together just to throw them together. There was a point and I like that. Yeah, um, but I'm like, okay, Wolfman, I get it. You know, it, it sucks turning every, like, <laughs> like ripping yourself apart. Um, mummy just wants to sleep. Dude's tired. Yeah. I feel you. Yeah. <laughs> but, but Dracula, come on, man. That's some, yeah, well, that's some great powers. What's up, Why? man? Why? Yeah, you, just, like, you just want to go in the sun? Like, it's silly. Like, no. Who wants to be in the sun? Damn. <laughs> Melanoma. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> so oh. you gotta drink a little blood. Like, <laughs> Please, like, kill that person, who cares? <laughs> Big deal. Uh, something that I'm very excited for is La Llorona. I've been hyping up this maze when I went through it 10 years ago. Loved it. I thought it was brilliant. And that's, honestly, that was the house that kind of hooked me to Halloween Horror Nights. I was mm -hmm. like, this is so twisted and demented and 
Um, it's not their traditional story of La Llorona. I mean, they could change it this year, but it's more of like a demented child's nightmare of what La Llorona is. So they yes. follow the story initially, and then as you go through the house, it gets more and more twisted and demented and La Llorona eats you and like it just becomes way over the top. Love it though. Yeah. Love that. Because I asked you, I was all like, okay, I know the story of La Llorona. I was like, obviously, and if you get too close to her, she will drag you into the lake. But I was all like, where, why does she get bigger? I was like, why is she eating the children and coming in her house? And then you explained it to me and I was all like, oh, okay. So if they're following the same storyline this year, it'll, you know, obviously it'll be my first time seeing it. Um, and it'll be your first time seeing it in a decade, yeah. which is a really long time. But I'm, I'm just wondering if they're going to be changing up some things. Well, and it's interesting. It's not in the same location as it was. So I think they have mm. to change some things up because it was a, a behind Shrek. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was behind Shrek. I forgot they put mazes back there. The first maze I ever went through at HHN was Freddy. And it was behind Shrek. Was it? Yes. Because I remember... I remember when I was like a little bit of a scaredy cat back then, back in those days, and me and my friends were going through it, and then the people in front of us bolted and ran. So all of a sudden I was pushing my friend and we were like bolting and running. We had chains hitting us in the face. And my friend's like, wait, wait up for Ashley. And I'm all like, it's too late for her. <laughs> She's gone. She's Ashley's gone. gone. And I just kept pushing through. <laughs> An excellent friend. Oh my god. That was the kind of friend I was. When but I was you talking. know, that Brie, <laughs> who is she? She's not here anymore. She's not. You are you are good to go through any house. Now I walk through and I'm all Oh. The set whoa. decoration it's is so, great. It's so nice. Like this is amazing. And then all of a sudden somebody comes out and I'll be like, oh that was a good one. <laughs> Alright, segueing into the scare zones. We have three. Yes. Three main scare zones. We have El Pueblo del Terror, we have Sideshow Slaughterhouse, and we have Clowns Oz, which you said step into the theme park only to be attacked by a chainsaw wielding clowns. So I think this is the first scare zone because it says step into the theme park. Yes. This is going to be right at that atrium area. Atrium? Just atrium? No, no. Like, like square. No, not even the square. Uh, entryway. Foyer. Entryway. It's like the foyer. It's like. Uh, I expect a lot of dubstep and a lot of just hype, and I think that's what this is going to be going for. Yeah, the it's flames. So HHN. It's so HHN. Um, no, I don't think the flames will be here, but I just think there's going to be a lot of lights because I think the flames are kind of near the New York. Yeah, but that's like, I mean, literally, that's like steps into. You're right. Like past like some stores. You're right. It. You're right. But no, I get you. I get you. Um. Do, 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 do. Psh, doom, psh. <laughs> just rock out just go rock out um so I, you know when i was telling you like i read on twitter somewhere that like there was gonna be like moments at like 7 45 9 and 10 and then i couldn't find that anymore so now i'm wondering if that was here if they were gonna have moments in the front here or if over in Orlando, but I don't know if why it would like make sense because it was said it was going to kind of be on the rooftop like areas. I don't know. Huh. <clears throat> so I need to find that. Y'all know? Let me know because yeah. I, I read a lot of stuff during the week and then some, I was like, oh, I can't find it again. Yeah, information it, dump. Yeah, information <laughs> or it could have been taken down or what. I don't know. But anyways, um, so El Pueblo, the El Pueblo del Terror. Uh, is definitely going to be outside of La Llorona. Yeah, it's like an extension, kind of like when they did the Holidays in Hell. Yes. Or the... Um, the Scream Queens. Scream Queens, lo love that. Yeah. Same thing. Uh, and this is going to be like in that Parisian... Parisian Square yeah. area. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I know that they have been doing a lot of work over at Immortal Masks with this, but... Oh, have they? Yes, they've been creating things for it. I would um, love to see I know. I, I need to I need to ask my buddy if we can go through it again with you. But um yeah, so it's I feel like over in Orlando they're having Chupacabra. So I think over here it's gonna be like Chupacabra slash like El Cocoy, um like a, a, just a mix of all these uh Latin American and like Mexican like heritage of like these spooky stories. So yeah. um I'm down for it. Uh 
kind of my heritage. Sideshow Slaughterhouse. Uh, and New this York is basically Street. basically a nightly battle between the workers and the carnies at a shady sideshow. And uh, they're going on a murderous rampage, apparently. I'm here for it. Murderous rampage away. I'm going to get tons of footage of it, and it'll be fantastic. Yeah. And then, of course, always HHN is absolutely famous for their uh, chain sauce. So, yes. <clears throat> that's it. Now, Terror Tram. Terror Tram. <sighs> I have this theories. A, this was a bit of a mix-up for me. I, I, looking at this, I was like, um, okay. I'm intrigued. And let me tell you why I'm intrigued, Brie. Why intrigued? Because they're going to be doing Nope and Us. Yes. Right? Yes. They just put up a Nope attraction on the studio tour. Right. They put up a... Uh, like Jupiter's Claim. Jupiter's Claim. So... Jupiter's claim is towards the end yes. of the of the tram. It's right by Fast and Furious. So, Fears. are we going to start off the opposite direction where we go through Jupiter's claim, then the wreckage, then Bates Motel, and then pick up? Ooh. Or are we going to start where originally start, but we're going to continue through Jupiter's claim? Because why would you exclude Jupiter's claim if you're featuring Nope? Like, right. you have no, to no, be able no. to walk through that area. No, and I don't know if you'll be able to walk through that area. They may just drive back through it and drop you at the at the exit. What a waste that would be. Let us walk through. If we could walk through the wreckage, mm -hmm. let us walk through Jupiter's claim. You don't I, see, think? I see where you're going with that. I see where you're going with it. You just don't think it's possible? I just, no, I, I mean, it's absolutely possible. Like, when they had the opening media event, everybody was walking through that area and stuff. But, but, the Terror Tram. Okay, Terror Tram takes off, right? We're going to go down. Hollywood Harry is involved. We know this, right? He's on the photo. He's on the photo. So, Hollywood Harry comes into play but then we're also which has i i don't know if they're gonna twist that into nope and us because they have nothing to do with each other so well you remember when chucky hosted the terror tram but right then he wasn't really all that involved in the ter he was just like the narrator mm -hmm. same i think that's going to be the same thing you think yeah so are they going to put a bunch of us people because re religiously with hhn we come on we come down we stop at where the old, old Who Villa is. We're mm -hmm. right by Bates Motel. We get off. That's where everything takes place. You know we, there's going to be people of us there. Yeah. There's going to be people of us there. We're going to walk through that area. We're going to walk through the wreckage. And then it's going to come out. Then we come out and we've always gotten back on the tram. Mm -hmm. And then drove back through. We would drive through Jupiter's Claim. Drive past Fast and Furious. And then back into that makes sense but i feel like that i just would love to be able to walk through jupiter's claim and then get picked up which is I why i was hoping wouldn't that be cool if they dropped us off and we started the at opposite jupiter. direction and then went back and then like maybe got back on at the end of where all the cars are and and right this now. is we don't know anything this no. is just us spitballing and we want this to happen seriously we I know sometimes we're like, we don't know what's going on at Knott's. We don't know what's going on at Universal. <laughs> we really don't. We don't, except for some mask stuff. That's about it. But um, we, they could. I mean, they could absolutely reverse direction it. I mean, it's... But, like where, or like loop it to where it just came back around and then you went past. Okay, okay, okay. We're... I, hang on. So... <laughs> I'm like trying to get a picture of that. She's like, I'm like, getting there. I'm okay. getting there. If we walked, if they made us tear a tram down to Jupiter's claim, which would be a two minute ride on the tram, by the way, uh, if that, it would take longer to load on than it would to get to Jupiter's claim. Um, we walked down into, into Jupiter's claim, came around to like the the Bates Motel thing down and then through the wreckage and then popped back up and then there is, if there was an arc around, I don't know. Please don't. I don't know. I can just, you're circuit frying right now. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I just think We're it's gone. probably going to be easier. We're not going to walk through Jupiter's plane. I, yeah. They're going to put a bunch of stuff that's going to happen around us. Maybe they'll add more things to Jupiter's claim than they do because it's just sound effects. But other than that, I just, um, I don't, 
I don't have high hopes for walking through Jupiter's claim. I hope we could. But I know. I, I understand. I don't think. I don't know. I don't know. Up in the air. But let's now go on to Hogsmeade, and something very interesting is happening in Hogsmeade. Bree, what um, is happening? Oh my God! The Death Eaters are coming. Yes. Oh, Death Eaters are going to be able to roam through that land. Okay. I don't think you understand how excited I am right now because when we're in, the, we we actually spent the night in the middle of the woods. But um, <laughs> so I'm tired. But um. <laughs> <laughs> but uh <laughs> it started in it started in Japan. Mm -hmm. Okay, it started in Japan, which by the way, I thought Universal Studios in Japan was in Tokyo, it is absolutely not. It is in Osaka, but far. Yeah. But um so started in Japan and I was like, "Oh my god, it's fantastic." And then it came to Orlando and I was like, "Why? Why not Why? us?" Why? Whatever happened to yeah, us. Yeah, what happened to us. And now we get them. So I'm excited. I want to take a picture with every Death Eater. I want to walk in there and just buy Death Eater masks and wands and just be like, I'm here. Just pick me up on the way back. <laughs> no no need to go through any of the houses no because I'm to. here. Yes. I'm here. I am going to go Avada Kedavra people with the Death Eaters. You should night. put the Death Mark or the, um, the Dark Mark tattoo. Oh, I should. Just I to so show should. your allegiance. I'd be like this. Oh my God, what would they do? <gasps> They'd probably spare you. Photo moment. <laughs> Bree's like, it's perfect in my head. It's I can't perfect. wait. It is. Um, I see it now. The green light behind me. The Death Eater's all like this. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. <laughs> it's happening. I'm so happy for you. It's, I know. You should be, thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then last but not least, uh, Jabberwockies will be coming back. They're going to be doing their dance show. The one show. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, I wish that there was more. I kind of miss Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. I do too, um, but I love the dancing and I love Jabberwockies. I great. just wish that they would theme it more Halloween. That'd be nice. Like more spooky. Because yeah. over in Orlando, we watched a show with the uh, Villains Academy and mm -hmm. theirs was, they were like freaking celebrities up in there. It, it, and was, it was totally Halloweened out. Very spooky. Yeah. Love so that. it was like, it's like the same thing. We can do the same thing. We can. So why are we not doing? <laughs> okay. In conclusion, we have five original houses, five. three IP houses, three scare zones. We've got uh, the Jabberwocky show, and all the rides are open, as well as yes. Death Eaters in Hogsmeade. This year for Halloween Horror Nights seems stacked. Mm -hmm. It seems different. I am very very intrigued by uh, all of this. So I can't wait. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So we're gonna be out there opening night. Uh, we are gonna be doing like live, like uh, how we did last last time where we just got on Instagram and just gave our reviews right when we walked out the door of a maze. But obviously we'll be bringing you like all the treats and foods and and show, no, I, don't if, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know if we're saying Jabberwockies. We'll try. We're try. Not um, on the priority list because yeah. we're, we're here for... Uh, we're here for the houses. Yeah. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you guys haven't. And we'll see you at Halloween Horror Nights. Always be ready. Because you never know your compass will take you. Ooh. I'm so scared right now.